Uh, accidents will happen. Uh, someone was supposed to be sending me the uh, 2016 vintage of a Sauvignon, but they sent me the 2015 one instead and they said, oh, don't worry, we'll send you the 2016 one as well. So I have uh, ended up with two uh, different vintages of Saracen Sauvignon Blanc from Marlborough in New Zealand, the 2015 and 2016. Uh, what's the difference between them? Let's start with the 2015 and find out. Well, it's very Sauvignon, but if you had um, said to me, is this Marlborough or Loire, I'd have been going, oh, I'm not so sure about that. It hasn't got that exuberant, in-your-face, um, almost uh, slightly too loud and vulgar style that uh, Marlborough can have. Here it's more stony and precise, and um, um, yes, it feels, it feels almost like a wine you can twang. There's something um, that feels like life beyond fruit. There's a, a, a herby character. There's this gentle, stony uh, aroma, and the fruit's not that exuberant tropical fruit. It's more that restrained green gauge and citrus. It smells really good. Yeah, and when you taste it, it's persistent. It's fresh, and it's um, keen. It's really keen and clean. There's no uh, uh, really clumsy, clumsy overripe or um, oversweetened edges to... Uh, to detract from the pleasure. Some people will not like it as a result of that. It might almost be a bit severe for, for, for some people, but I, I really like that. Uh, 2016, let's see what that one's like. Now this smells richer and juicier, still on that uh, cleaner, um, more citrus and herb green gauge style rather than the out and out tropical fruit. But it feels like there's got a little bit more weight, power, uh, alcohol wise, first one's 13, second one's 13 and a half. It does, it, it does feel like it's got a little bit of extra, uh, extra flesh to it. Um, is that better or just different? Let's have a see. Yes, and that has got more of those um, gooseberry pie uh, characters. And um, I say gooseberries because you get that nice tension between the tang of the gooseberry and then that sweetness of the sugar. It's not a sweet wine by any means. There's no, I don't think there'd be any residual there, but it feels like there's riper fruit here that is adding that sweet component to uh, to sit against the, uh, sit against the that citrus precision. Which do I prefer? Uh, I think it would depend largely on what I was eating. I um, I, I think I'm siding on that uh, uh, that twangy edge of the 2015. But um, if if the that that maybe I'd, I'd pull out with my light seafood and uh, the, uh, the second one uh, maybe something a little bit fleshier. Maybe it could even take on roast chicken or something like that. But they're both really lovely wines. Uh, and uh, so I think I'll probably have a glass of the 2015 first this evening. See you soon.